the Grammys 2023. I'm still processing it, but I think I want to process out loud. It's still unbelievable. Getting that call back in October of 2022 to say, you've been nominated for a Grammy for best gospel album. And I have to be honest, I did not expect that. Um, that album was the most vulnerable uh, body of work that I've ever um, released in my life. Many of you may have heard the story, many of you may not have, um, but it was for the Die to Live album. That album uh, was me processing my mother's death. Um, that was me grieving, and um, I chose to write, invent, and it became an album. Shout out to all the producers that helped with that, Philip Bryant, Bart Orr, Justin Savage, thank you for helping me uh, articulate and bring that to life. So, got nominated and I'm still in awe. Got a lot of preparation, okay? Got a, who, who's going with me? Um, what team am I taking? What am I going, wow, this is the Grammys, people. This is a whole different, you know, outlet, platform, known worldwide, and here I am in gospel. Man. Established my team and um, getting ready to get there, and so we're off. <laughs> Land in L.A. on a Friday, Good Friday, leading up to um, the Grammys. And uh, the only thing I wanted to do was eat Chick-fil-A and go to sleep. <laughs> I had an um, a early morning that Saturday. I had to prepare to do two wardrobe changes because I had to go to a gospel brunch that was held for those that were nominated um, for a Grammy in, in gospel, which was amazing, by the way. Then I had to go to a rehearsal, press pause, because moments before the Grammys, I was asked to be a part of the pre-ceremony. Now, my nerves are already all over the place. The pressure. And then y'all asking me to sing. I'm like, what is happening? Of course I'm going to do it. I'm scared, but I'm going to do it afraid. <laughs> I'm going to do it afraid. So I had rehearsal that Saturday, and um, that was that. Um, had a little, you know, just to make sure the dress was right with my team. We came in and trying on different hair and, and seeing what would work with this, what earrings, what da 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 This is happening on Saturday. I want to go to sleep, children. So I went to bed. Sunday morning gets here. It's 4 a.m. Sunday morning, 6 o'clock where I'm from. And I woke up and I was sick. I ended up, I don't want to be too graphic, but I had to vomit, literally, over and over. I was so sick. And I just knew it wasn't anything I ate. My nerves were everywhere. Everywhere. And here I am, nervous. I'm like, I gotta sing in a few hours. I gotta do all of this and do all of that. And here I am, sick. Man. <sighs> My team came together, made sure I wasn't dehydrated. <laughs> and all was well. Um, Shout out to James Anthony uh, for being uh, one of my photographers for the last 12 years. Came through and took amazing pictures moments before the pre-ceremony started. I'm thinking that we're going to take pictures at the hotel that I was staying in. And James <laughs> was like, well, on the way to the hotel, I saw this spot and I thought it would be great. So can y'all take an Uber here? And I'm like... We gotta be in place in a, how are we gonna do this?
is. So we hop in an Uber and we go and the place is beautiful, it's phenomenal. We take pictures, get back to the hotel in enough time to scoop up the rest of the crew to go so I can be in place for the, the pre-ceremony. I get to the venue and my nerves are I was I was nervous, y'all. Extremely nervous. Um, the the young uh, ladies that I was singing with, they were uh, very, very, very sweet. They were so nice, and I'm grateful that they were there because it really helped ease, you know, the nervousness. And then here I am, you know, representing gospel um, in that moment. Um, a song. It was a, a celebratory song. Um, I just want to celebrate by Rare Earth. If you know it, you know it. If you know it, you know it. But good lyrics, positive song. And they made it to where I had to end the song. <laughs> and so here I am, and it's my turn. And I'm like, okay, God, I'm praying the entire time. Like, please don't crack. Please don't sing off. Please don't do too much. Please just, 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 just don't mess up. You know, the, the pressure, because this is live. There's no stopping and starting over. And then there was this great calm, and I knew it was the Lord that gave me the okay to be myself, to be myself in that moment. And I walked on out there singing. I had my hand on the dollar bill, and the dollar bill flew away. And... I don't remember what else happened after that, but I was told it was great. <laughs> and that was an amazing moment. I went to freshen up after that because after that, I literally had to touch up my makeup and go straight to red carpet. I've been seeing the red carpet for years at the Grammys and I never thought that I would walk that path and I did and I wanted to fan out so many times I saw baby face I saw so many celebrities that I grew up listening to um I ended up walking me and uh Ricky Dillard ended up um walking in together so that gave me comfort as well and I it was it was an amazing uh, experience only to go back to the pre-show after that was done to, you know, wait for my category. And um, I sat next to my dad and I saw the excitement in my dad's face and he heard it in his voice. And it took everything in me not to tear up because I knew what that moment meant for my dad. Um, these are things that my dad spoke over my life when I was a little girl. I didn't believe it, but he saw it. And honestly, being transparent, these were not my aspirations. These were my dad's um, aspirations. He wanted to do this when he was younger and didn't get a chance to do that. And so he oftentimes say, Miranda, I'm so proud of you. I'm living vicariously through you. So the fact that we are here and nominated for an album that I cried most of the time on. Honestly, I didn't really think about that much advertisement. At the time, the majority of the posting with that album wasn't me. It was my staff. <laughs> because I was still grieving, I just needed to get it out. I really didn't do too much publicity with that album. And so to be nominated for a Grammy on an album that I was grieving from, and, and it was my way of venting. And I sat there and looked at my dad and finally teared up because I thought about, wow, what a way What a way to honor my mom's legacy. 
Wow, to God be the glory. You were nominated. It hit me. My dad was sitting to my right, and I was like, God, I thank you that you let him live to see this. I have no sad stories about the Grammys. It was worth it to see my dad smile the way that he did. Now, we were tired. We were tired. After that pre-show, we were so tired. <laughs> we ate. We went and we ate. And, um, you know, the rest of the night is, is, is history, you know. Um, it was just an amazing experience. And I said to my team, what I love is my team was so positive about it all. No one was sad that I didn't bring home the Grammy. I wasn't sad that I didn't bring home the Grammy. Um, it was enough for me to be acknowledged by, by the Academy, you know. And I was, I was just grateful to be there. I have no sad stories. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. God is faithful. And I understand the why. I know why I do what I do. And when I stay focused, you know, things like these won't ever be a blow to me. <laughs> um, it's a blessing to even be in the room. Just my point of view, no sad stories here. It was an amazing experience, and yeah, so I um, also, I failed to mention on that Saturday, I got a medallion from the Academy. <laughs> I got a medallion from the Academy, and um, the Recording Academy, I, I remember going to the reception, and y'all... When they handed me that Tiffany box, <laughs> I said, what is in here? And I pulled out that medallion. I was like, oh, my Lord. Like, what an amazing accomplishment. So, again, thank you to all that voted and all of that good stuff. Thank you for thinking of me. Like, it's such a joy, such an honor. Okay, the dress. <laughs> the dress. All right. So I called Tierra, my stylist, and was like, girl, we got to get a look for this here red carpet situation. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Um, there's a lot of pressure here. And so I was like, I need someone to make this dress. And I thought about my friend, Vinny. Vinny, um, I met Vinny when I lived in Dallas and he had already made, um, I wanna say two other things for me. And then after that, he went to Project Runway and um, he was competing on there and um, the rest was history. So when it came down to the dress, I was like, Vinny, I hope he's available. And he was. He was. And so Tierra and I took a trip to Dallas. And when we got there, when I got there, Tierra was already there. Vinny had like maybe four or five sketches of different dresses already. And um, the first dress that he showed me just had a special place in my heart. Now, all of the dresses that he showed me was amazing, but I went with the first design because that stuck out the most. And um, the dress had a heart in it. And the heart, he was describing, you know, he was thinking about me and how, you know, um, basically, you know, I, I do things from the heart. The music is from the heart. Um, another friend of mine um, confirmed that um, a few days ago as well. Um, Alyssa, shout out to her. Um, but, and, and then you had the heart in the middle and then you had like 
you know, the outline of it and it just grew and it grew and it grew. And that represented like the frequency of, of the heartbeat. And so, um, Vinny also told me that, um, Vinny, who is Haitian, um, he's a believer. Um, he loves the Lord with all of his heart. His mother saw the dress and, um, she said when she saw the dress, it, it, her interpretation, and I, I want to really share this and it made me tear up, um, since we're here in black history month, hallelujah. Um, she said the black represented, you know, us black people, but the heart represented love. And as simple as that sound, you know, she said, it's a reminder that we are filled with love and not hate. Wow. <laughs> and it made me tear up. Um, and I was like, wow, but we are. We are people that's filled with passion. We're filled with love. And so it represents so much. And of course, I, the heart had to be red. I'm, I'm all for, because when I see red, I think the blood of Jesus, you know. <laughs> but, but I wanted something, because I did voice that I wanted something. I wanted to look elegant, and I wanted to look classy. And I'm also, you know, now that I'm older, I try to pay attention to my body type, you know, and I wanted, I wanted to wear something that complemented everything that I have going on. And so um, I wanted to feel good, and I wanted to look at myself and say, now, now sis, you wear this dress. If don't nobody else hype you, <laughs> you can hype yourself. And when I... Even with the different uh, times that I had, you know, to try on the dress, the different fittings that I had, like it just grew, just the the excitement grew. And that was, um, yeah, the birth of that dress, the why of that dress. And um, I, I loved everything, <laughs> every single thing about what Vinny did, um, the vision behind it. It was definitely a story uh, behind it, but the frequency of the heart. And when I minister, when I sing, it, it, that's where it comes from. I can't help it. It's in me. And so not to mention that it's the color scheme of the actual album cover, Die to Live. Think about it. You have the album covers in black and white, you have black, and I'm standing there if you look with a red rose in my hand, which represented life for me. Um, and uh, yeah, that was the, yeah. And the bob, we chose the bob over the other hair and the bob was bobbing. Corey, you did that, sir. You, the bob, you want to go is still bobbing to this day. Okay, the movement. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. You ready? The movement of the hair. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This bob is bobbing. And then Millicent. Oh my God. This, the beatage that you did, ma'am of God, that makes no sense. I looked, it looked like I had a filter on. <laughs> like, phenomenal team, phenomenal team. Like, Tierra helping with this vision, you and Vinny bringing this to life, the entire crew, like y'all just, y'all did the thing. Y'all did the thing and I was most pleased. And the dress got a lot of love, even from those that felt like it wasn't a red carpet dress. It was like, but this dress needs some love though. We gotta get this dress. So it wasn't no denying of the power that it needed love. Huh? So I'm grateful for all your kindness, y'all, your kind words concerning my appearance, uh, concerning the 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 pre uh, ceremony, like all of that, like the pictures. That's the thing. Like these pictures, they 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 didn't these pictures. They didn't edit the pictures. The, that was real, huh? All those images. I'm like, 
Oh no, that was me. Like that wasn't no airbrushing. That wasn't no, people still say that airbrush. I don't know, but yeah, filter. They didn't know there was none of that. It was that was me. You know, we honor the Lord. It was a good time. <laughs> it was a good time in Grammy world. So that dress was, yeah, approved. So everybody's been asking me, Miranda, what's next? Well, there are a lot of things on the table. There are a lot of things in the works. But first, I have a single to release. It's called Jesus. It's a song that I started writing back in 2016. I know, right? Started writing that um, and um, decided to release it because Dada Live was such a such a intense album full of emotion and I um, wanted to start on a brighter note this time and sing about Jesus being everything that my heart has longed for. Um, it's just really singing about the power of his name and him just being everything I need, everything I've longed for. And the result, um, the fruit of what happens when you really trust in his name. And um, I pray that it's a blessing to you all. I can't wait to share in the near future um, what else I'm getting ready to release. Um, I'm so excited, y'all for what's getting ready to happen. <laughs> I'm so geeked about it. But first, I need you to get this song in your system. And then we'll talk about what's to come. I guess that's my recap. Like I said, I'm still processing now. I'm happy, but I'm still like, wow. I find myself waking up saying, that really happened. Ooh, that happened for real. That really happened? No, really it did. <laughs> and so, um, just gotta keep moving, keep, um, you know, being creative, keep, and, and, and that gave me the, the push to even go harder, you know? The fact that somebody's out there listening, that somebody's out there blessed by what I have to, to, to give musically is a blessing, so, if anything, it encouraged me to continue to go, and I plan on doing that. More than you know. <laughs> I'm excited about what's to come, y'all. I'm excited. <laughs>